So in the next example, we will see how to convert a binary number into hexadecimal number using a floating point number. So we know that 2 raised to power 4 is equal to 16. So we will have the table that has 16 rows and 4 columns. So now we write the value here 11.1101. 1, 1, 1. So remember we will make groups of 4 bits while moving away from the decimal point. So in this case we will move from right till left and we are moving away from the decimal point. And in this case while moving away from the decimal point we are moving from left till right. So this is how we can make group of 4 bits. So this group is complete because it has 4 bits. But if you look at this group, it is incomplete. It has 2 bits and we need 2 more bits. So we add 2 more zeros to it to make them complete. So now both the groups are complete. So we will find their values in the table. So first of all, we will find the value 0011 in the table. So where is the value 0011 in the table? Here is the value 0011. And it is equal to which hexadecimal digit? That is 3. So we write 3 here. Next comes the decimal point and it will maintain its position. Okay, now we have the second group 1101. And we will find the binary value 1101 in the table. So where is the binary value 1101 in the table? So now we can see that the value is here 1101 and it is equal to D. So we write D here. So now we have calculated the value and no more digits are left. So we will say that the answer is 3.D or you can say that the binary value 11.1101 is equal to 3.D in hexadecimal. So this is how we can convert a floating point number that is given in binary into hexadecimal base. So now we have completed octal into binary, binary into octal, hexadecimal into binary and binary into hexadecimal. In the next section, we will see how to convert octal into hexadecimal.